First of all, Stephen, who are we agreeing? There's a long list of Democrats, Kamala Harris, uh, Gavin Newsom, uh, Gretchen Whitmer. The list goes on and on and on. You've named four or five people. Where is their consensus? You've got to build consensus, and there is not consensus right now. If you pick a white man over Kamala Harris, black women, I can tell you this, we're going to walk away, we're going to blow the party up. If you pick the black woman... Where are you going to walk away we, to, Ariva? Where are you going to walk away to? You gonna walk away. You ain't going to walk away to Trump. Everybody over Kamala Harris. So where are we getting agreement from on who this ideal Democratic par uh, candidate should be? Tell me that. Nobody's told me who it should be. country wants something new. Let them have it. Why are we fighting this inevitable desire... Oh, and they can't deliver it. I mean, Trump is going to be sentenced on July the 11th. The Supreme Court is like, come on, we don't even want to discuss this. But give the people a shot. And all they're asking for is something different. And let's give it to them. Who do you think would be it's strongest? Which, which, Democrat do you, which Democrat do you think would be strongest? We've heard so many names. Governor yeah. uh, Newsom in California, Governor right. Whitmer, uh, Governor Shapiro in right. Pennsylvania, uh, obviously uh, Senator Warnock, uh, Pete Buttigieg, Vice President <laughs> Harris. Who do you think has the best chance Let's of beating see. Trump? Yeah, let, let Democrats decide. All of these people are marvelously talented people that you and I know about, but 99% of the country doesn't know about. And you know what people will do? They will pay attention. They will listen to what Senator Warnock has to say, or Governor Newsom, or Vice President Harris, or... or, or Anybody else? I, I I don't want to give names because, but let them all go out and make their case. And I think the country is concerned enough, engaged enough. It's seventy-two percent, or I know that 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 number. I'll stick with the whole this whole interview and let them decide. This is our democracy. This is our country. This is our future. Don't just don't sit there and do something, man. Move it. He keeping it real, bro. I like yeah. this dude, bro. He wants what's best for his team, for real. He said the people want something different. Why is it a threat to everybody? So talking about seventy-two percent. Is it seventy-two percent of the people who were voting for Biden now believe they need a different candidate? Yeah. Congrats. I mean, so he's confused. literally an incompetent old guy. Like he can't. He There's can't. No he, he he's wins. obviously not making the decisions. They don't want Kamala Harris. She's not strong enough of a candidate to run on her own. So people want somebody else. I mean. Is, I mean, if the Democrat Party is so strong as they claim, shouldn't they have somebody that that, that they could willingly step up and put in his place? Big Mike. They, they, their campaign sucked. So they didn't Mike. have any like no one went against them. Yeah, it just literally, sucked. literally no one. Why they didn't use that big? That what's that big dude you with know, the coat? Maybe that's why they did that. Because they're like, all right, y'all, we know Joe can't debate, so we're all gonna collectively come here and decide we're not debating and we're not running against Joe. I don't know, man. Why but they don't they, use they the? They knew it was gonna happen anyways. It'd have been good warm up, but he'd have got exposed long ago, and I who, guess that would have hurt his. Campaign. Who's the dude with the hoodie? Hurt the, it anyways. Who's, who's the dude with the hoodie? The um politician oh, that wore the hoodie. Oh, the <laughs> they could have put him up there. He would have did some. What's his he name? Hell no, nah, bro. You people be wearing the shorts. Yeah, yeah I think he could have did home. some, bro. Where have you ever started seeing him speak some real shit? I haven't. People, people, people do like him, but he had a stroke. You did, damn. He had a stroke. But, he came but, back but and he hit it right on the head, though, bro. Why is this freaking name? Why is it mm -hmm. that it's a threat to democracy when the people have chosen who they want it? You know what I'm saying? They're making it seem like the people, y'all are stupid, y'all are stupid. Y'all don't know what he's going to do. Project 2025. He just said, if the people want something different, let's just give it to him. We should do that as a video going well, over Project 2025. Take that and, you know, as for. Why is it so much that the people. The president they choose Trump. And nominee. So we got to, oh, we got we to gotta do everything in our power for the That's people, not name. to choose Trump. John Fetterman. That's his name. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bro, they don't got done. nobody, bro. bro it's over done, with, bro. bro. They got to have somebody. Democrats, nope. count your days, buddy. 125 no days left, this boy. Is a, this is a fire dumpster for them. Dumpster fire? Yep, whatever. Bag it up and dump it. Bag it up and dump it. I have spoken to some top mm. Democrats who say that there would actually be relief if he were to step down. And one person said to me, look, <laughs> everyone's counting out Kamala Harris because right now her poll numbers are below President Biden's. But if she <laughs> were to be the one to carry this torch into November, there could be a method of reintroducing her to the country that could be effective with independents, with moderates, with those critical suburban women that are necessary for winning the White House. 
NBC's Kristen Welker is floating the idea that should Joe Biden decide to step down from the presidential race, that could create an avenue in which Kamala Harris, his vice president, is reintroduced to American voters who get to decide who wins the general election. But Kamala Harris really isn't being seriously considered as a Biden replacement in the off chance that Biden does the right thing and step down. Right now, by the way, there's no indication that he intends to do that. His family, including Jill Biden, is urging him to stay in the race despite his horrible terrible uh, debate performance. Now, Political reports that Harris's allies are frustrated with all the chatter about a possible replacement involving Gavin Newsom, the California governor, or Michigan's governor, Gretchen Whitmer. And uh, I wanna give you some of the anonymous quotes by Harris allies to Politico. One of them says, the fact that people keep coming back to this is so offensive to so many of us. (laughs) They still don't get that the message you're saying to people, to this Democratic Party is, we prefer a white person. Oh, please. So they're weaponizing race in order to make a case for Kamala Harris, despite the fact that she has her own voter abilities. We'll get to that in just a moment. Who's who's this quote from? Kamala. Her ally. Kamala's ally. Still don't understand. So they finna race bait her into the top of the Democratic Party. They're like, oh, okay. So you see, now this is what they hit everybody else with. And now they're getting hit with it and they upset. Nah, y'all need to feel this one. Well, I mean, I mean. I feel like everybody's questioning the Democratic The Democratic Party elected freaking Obama. So, like, how can they say they prefer a white person? (sighs) Well, right now, because, like, right now, it's an incompetent white man right now. And she's the second person in line. And nobody want her to be the the person because to step she up. sucks well, not because I mean, she's it's, black it's just because what has she done that's what she's saying though what that's what they say nobody no, literally no you one it, no one can tell me something that Kamala Harris do, did as a VP show me ever like, what rust. VP have but I mean still though like, tell what, me one VP what have she, she done she, like why isn't she, she had, defending she's Kamala had. Harris no she's I'm had. just saying VPs don't do nothing like they, I mean, show me who's George Bush who's George Bush VP uh, look, no, John look, McCain. Up, no, 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 no. That's not the he point, ran. Though. Are you what? serious? What? I remember that. You said John McCain. They ran on the same ticket. That's why I had to say we don't know look, VPs, bro. It just, it just is. It is. George Bush and John McCain. What was Kamala Harris's mm. no, position before she got to be VP? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. She was a senator, <laughs> or a, she was a DA judge as well. She was oh, a senator. I mean, was she for sure? She was a DA judge and a senator. She used to lock people up. So that's what I'm saying, though. Like her history, even without being a VP, isn't too good. Like it's people that I know. Doug, like I was gonna say, but Doug has, owns the whole state of. Nebraska. They said she locked up or a lot it, of it, people in California. North Dakota. North Dakota. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Now, we know him for doing good in his state. We don't know Kamala for doing good in her, anything in her state. If they had like a Ron DeSantis type. We gonna keep. I'm gonna yeah, keep it a hundred. If supposed, Hillary couldn't do it, y'all think you think she gonna oh, do it? No, no. Here's a list of five vice presidents that made an impact. Andrew Johnson. James W. Forward, Richard Nixon. Well, we Richard know Nixon him, became right? president. Yeah, we know him, but we don't know the mother. Thomas Eagleton. Well, yeah, that's because they're. Well, from he became a president. Exactly. Andrew, Andrew Johnson, my father, he was a president. I expected back then. That's a. That's probably a great. Yeah. You're the vice president. And Andrew Johnson was but Abraham now. Lincoln's uh, VP, but he probably became the president when after the assassination. Yeah, he did. <laughs> now it yeah, just so, seems like a shadow. Uh, James W. Forward. That's a black man. man? Yeah, likely the first black American to campaign for vice president and oh, receive he, popular votes. He ran as the Communist Party vice presidential nominee three times. Whoa. I never heard of him. Yeah. Well, that's but I'm trying to see that who. That was in 1932. Who is she referring to, though? Who she's referring to? Is she re- referring to people the on the right or the people she's on the left? She's on the left. She's saying, she's saying the that. The Kemp- Democratic Party. I'm going to explain it to you. What's just, Dude, I'm, I'm about to break it down to you what this means because you guys are speculating too much. It's saying that. It's offensive to her because people don't consider her as a black woman to be good enough to be the president. They would prefer someone who's white. Okay. That's why she's saying it's offensive. We ain't, okay, we get but that. I don't think that's what who's it that? is. People just don't think she'd be a good uh, president. Who's she referring to? Her ally. I'm going to keep it a honey, y'all. She's saying her allies. No, she's, she's, no, 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 she's no, 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 no. She's referring to, no, 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 the, she's referring to the people that are saying that someone else should replace Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. They're saying it's offensive to her. Because she's not being considered to be the replacement. Because uh, she's, cause you're she's over with. If Hillary couldn't do it, woman, you think you finna do it up there? So she's trying to say the Democratic <laughs> people. You know. that's, she's saying that's why it's offensive because they so don't. So when you be calling people her. in your party racist, then yeah. yes. 
That's literally what the statement says. That's why I says. say she hit them. That's what. That's she just right. That's literally what she hit them says. with their own stuff. Yes. That's stupid. Oh, so she's called you know, all people in her own party racist. Racist. But, yes, but correct. it's crazy because who's going to vote for her? Racist. She's not going to win. It was better off for them putting a little Gavin up there than Kamala, in my opinion. <sighs> if they're going to have four dollar gas, I don't want either of them. Nigga, we gonna have six dollars gas. You seen the gas in California? Radio show host and go-to expert on compelling legal and political matters. Please welcome to the Stephen A. Smith Show yet again the wonderful Ariva Martin. How are you, Ariva? Good afternoon. How's everything going? Like Who? Hey, everything Ariva. is good. I'm I'm excited. I'm fired up. I'm ready to go. Okay. Okay. I gotta ask you. Let's get right to it because you and I speak privately. You know. Uh, you know, texting back and forth mm -hmm. and all of this stuff. Um, Hold on. I'd like you to explain Steve. to people as a political analyst, as somebody who is definitely a supporter of Joe Biden baby. in this upcoming election. What the hell do you have to be excited about on this particular day? I'm all ears. <laughs> I am excited about the record that Joe Biden is running on. I am excited awesome. about our Vice President Kamala Harris. I'm excited about Katanji Brown losing. Jackson uh, holding up our democracy in the minority on our Supreme Court. I am excited about billions of dollars of student loan debt being relieved for students. I'm excited about $16 billion being dedicated to historically black colleges and universities. I got a whole lot to be excited about. Hey, did Joe Biden have a bad night at that debate? Absolutely, positively, <laughs> yes. But do you throw out a candidate because they have one bad debate? Yeah, Donald Trump months. said, grab women by the P. He has 34 felony convictions. My brother D.L. Hughley put it best. If we can forget all of that, we can forget one bad night on a debate see, stage. See, so why is not a debater? He's a I got something to say. You see, so for the president's negotiation skills and debating skills are going to directly affect you as an American. Them felonies and what he said are not affecting me. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to grab a bottle. Is not affecting you. Yeah, and the he was on hot. He was on hot mic when he said counts? that. Thirty-four It's not like not he just came out and you. said that. It was out of context. And it was thirty-four counts of money being filed wrong. Uh, how exactly does that harm anybody? It's a victimless crime, guys. I know it is harming you. The nineteen ninety-four crime <laughs> bill is the reason why people say, "Oh, the police is mean." Joe Biden was also against school integration. Do we forget about that, guys? They, they forget. He about said that he one didn't want time. his white children to go to school in your, with, with your kids in a racial jungle. He said that. Marcus, he said we need to put these criminals off the streets, sign the 1994 crime bill, which incentivized judges to pass harsher sentences and the incentivized police to have more arrests. He's and not that racist, disproportionately though. affected black people. I told Kamala Harris also put black people in jail. Did we forget about that? I told an old man that he said, but brother... You know, I think both of the candidates could have been racist, but Joe Biden showed us when he made Kamala the vice president. Oh, me? Kamala I said, Harris, that's a VIP. Kamala Harris that's is VIP. not black. That's a, I'm sorry. PR. Kamala Harris is PR. not black. That's a PR stunt. Literally. She's not black. Think about Look it. Look at her children. Joe, Joe is not She's racist. Not black. He ran with Obama and he had Kamala. That's, we ain't never seen saying. that before. Two, two biracials. What makes him racist? It's a racist? PR stunt, guys. Two biracials. <laughs> He's not racist, bro. I just I don't understand why they just <laughs> try to okay. use them as that a is fair. And for black and I people. and listen, I'm willing to acknowledge and articulate some of the successes that Joe Biden has had as president of the United States. I don't think that's debatable. But I think that respectfully, folks like yourself, and you and I have talked about this privately, so I can say this. Stop I here's where I think y'all missing the boat. Nobody's questioning Biden's record. Nobody with sense, as far as I'm concerned, is really, really questioning Biden's record. We might lament inflation and stuff like that, but that's for the right to do and all of that stuff. There's a lot of positives emanating from his administration. Yeah. That is not the point. The point isn't about what he's done. The point is when you see what you saw Thursday night during the debate, what reason in God's name would you have to believe <laughs> or feel confident about Four more years. You can feel both. You can look at him in his record and say, I'm pleased with what he has done. But in the same breath, Please. why are we asking an 82 soon to be 82 year old, 81 soon to be 82 year old to give us four more years, particularly when they are candidates like a Kamala Harris, our, our, our reigning vice president, like a Gavin Newsom, governor of California, like a Hakeem Jeffries speaking out. There's a bun an abundance of candidates out there. Why are we looking at Joe Biden and saying four more years? Is. That is the subject, Ariva. Okay, and, and let me tell you why. I'm glad you raised those Mom, points. Yes. Here is why. 
Because when you all, you all being all of you folks that want to replace Joe Biden, when you had an opportunity to pick the black woman, Kamala Harris, to pick a gay guy, Pete Buttigieg, to pick a Latino, when they were all running against Joe Biden in 2020, guess what? Kamala Harris couldn't even get to the general election because folks would not support her. They would not give money to her campaign. She had to drop out before the California primary. Y'all got selective amnesia. So don't tell tell me you all want Kamala Harris to be your president. When Kamala Harris ran for president, she could not get the support because they don't want her in our community. They don't want her. Reality is you're not just electing Joe Biden. You are electing an administration and Kamala Harris will be in that administration. Kamala Harris is literally. I really meant what I said. I love that woman. She's just great television. She's great to talk to, highly intelligent, incredibly passionate. And I don't agree with everything she says, but she just reminds me of my sisters. She really, really does. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Uh, you know, he be doing. I don't think Kamala Harris is black, guys. It doesn't matter. She'll be talking. She a- I, just, AKA. I just hate that they just keep saying a black woman, a black woman. I literally do not think she's black. If she can't be gay. She was born in America. She doesn't have any black features. Okay, maybe by DNA, but like when I look at her, do I see a black they person? They call people racist yeah. who vote I don't. Democrats. I so you t- don't. You gonna sit up here and you you, you gonna sit up here and say Kamala don't look black? Multiple yes. times. I will say that multiple times. That's you could, crazy. You could tell me she's Puerto Rican. I would have said okay. You're true. You tripping. could tell me she's Latino. I would have said yes. So you think? I don't think she looks black. No. You're going to sit up here and you're going to say that bullshit. I'm saying the truth. Yeah, this is the whole question, right? If it's not President Biden, then who could it be on the Democratic side? And the truth is, there are no easy answers. You know, I went back and looked at the polling versus Donald Trump for a bunch of different Democrats have been suggested. Gretchen Whitmer, Gavin Newsom, Kamala Harris. Look at this. They all trail Donald Trump. So the idea here that we're somehow going to get this magic bullet, that there's somehow going to be some Democrat who can beat Donald Trump easily, I just don't see it in the numbers. At this particular point, if Joe Biden takes on Donald Trump, he's trailing. If there's another Democrat who runs against Donald Trump, they too are trailing. Perhaps you want to make the argument you bring in another Democrat who isn't as well known as Joe Biden, who univer- has universal name recognition, and maybe they could change the numbers. But the fact is, any Democrat who entered the race right now, at least among those that are being suggested by a bunch of folks, they would all enter the race at this particular point as an underdog to former President Donald Trump. <laughs> He's co- they're cooked. Man, this was it's, it's like over. It's, it's, yeah, it's That's over. Right. As soon as, as soon as we saw the debate, I said, I said, it's over. If you get a new candidate, your lies are exposed. You got to start a whole new campaign. Get people all behind this new person. Or if you rock with Joe Biden, what happened is going to happen again. It's just way too no, late, bro. There's yeah, no winning over. scenario here. Just you at can't all fire the head coach the day before the season starts and expect to have a winning season. That's a fact, Dan. That was good. That was a good analogy right it won't there. Happen. It's over, guys. Won't Great happen. analogy there, Brock. Yay! Our economy uh, might be bad. Good, you know. Like, you know I'm saying, y'all, it's not over with. What day was the debate? Make that day a holiday, cause that was the day it was the election was won. Hey, hold on, we do, we hold on, y'all. We we don't know yet. Not well, brother, stop saying that. We, hey, cause we, the, stop saying that, bro. We don't. We don't. If that happens, then we are just not a democracy, not, yeah. brother. And I still think we are. Wait, so, wait what happens? We're not a democracy. Joe Biden wins. Oh, that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Just, so, after the, after all the polls and stuff they put out and all the evidence of him being trailing and stuff no and how people have just changed their mind if they find if they cheat for him to win people will riot we will see <laughs> we will see this we will, will see a revolt on a scale of which we have never seen there's no way they can justify it's it works literally black over. lives matter it's, it's literally literally like, over. And they tried to get independence from uh, Great Britain or whatever. No, it's literally gonna be like, yeah, no, it's just not gonna happen, guys. Like they're they're literally in desperation mode. Like, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What it feels like do? they could do, do it because how like do? delusional they still are about the situation. But because we don't like, know, if you're that delusional, you'll do anything. If, if they leave Joe up there after what he did, they got something up their pocket. Like I said, but Trump's racist. Nah, though, they just, it's over, bro. They just not. They got that. something in their pocket, guys. Y'all bro, I'm you, bro, they bro. probably just it probably was just simple as they actually. Wait till well, August or September. Know, hey, y'all. Hey, Who look. makes those decisions? Hey, y'all, know, look. I'm watch right now. They got something for us August or September for us, y'all. And when it happens, he always does. It's gonna be something crazy. He always wants something bad to happen or the name. But honestly, though, Joe you was their best option. If though. they said she's Latino, you wouldn't believe that. You can't switch it up. Nah, that's crazy. That's waving the white flag. Because it's like Kevin. Why would best bet He has the worst date. Your best bet is to let Joe go again. Yeah, that is their best and bet. Give him a couple. Because Joe's probably give him some drugs. 
And no, uh, Gavin gonna fall. You ask Gavin my the right question. Yeah. Like, he gonna fall. Yeah, my granny's that like my grandma has curly hair. Like I said, why you, you shoot that right here, California? California? There's no curls on there. Uh, but we didn't know the severity. Sure. Yeah. People are leaving that state up, quicker than ever, and they got the best A Latino views. woman with the same texture. She got I mean, perm, bro. Nah, I don't know. I don't, I don't believe that, bro. So you don't think she's black? I don't think she looks black when I look at her. You told me she was Latino. I would say, okay, yeah, she's black. She's black, bro. Whatever y'all say, man. All right, guys, let us know what y'all think.